All right then, it is time to try yet another type of subscription box. And this time, as you can see, is Gacha Gacha Crate um, by the people at Japan Crate. Now, those of you who have seen my Japan Crate videos may have remembered I, um, I mentioned at the end of my last one that my three-month subscription ended and I was going to start one of this because as much as I love Japanese snacks, I don't eat junk food like a ton. So one box of Japanese snacks lasts me like a month and a half. Um, so yeah, as you can as you can tell, these are um, gashifon, which are like little plastic balls with things inside. Chances are, if you've clicked on this video, you know what a gashifon is. Um, and they've got their social media on the side there. Got the cute little dog thing in a in a in a suit in a tuxedo. And that is the website if you want to go get them. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for this video as well. So, yeah, it, it's a small little package, and I think it's like five or six Gashifon, I think, in each one. So, um, without further ado, let's just crack into it, really. I'm quite fond of Gashifon, actually, and um, until now, there's never really been a good British version of it. There's been like a couple of ship to America, but sort of eh, the 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 shipping costs were pretty high. So I'm actually excited for this because I've got a few Gashifon things that came in um, in my Oyatsu box, but I stopped subscribing to them because eh, they're not that good and kind of stole my money once. Um, right, so it is open now. Ooh, okay. So this is going to tell us what's in there. This is the September 2018 one. I think this is their first one, actually. I don't think they've had one before this. Um, and I think that probably just tells you what Gashifon are. I'm going to take a very quick look just to see if it does outline what's in the box. All right, yes. Yeah, so I took a super quick look. I saw, like, a picture of something very briefly. Didn't quite make it out when I just closed it because I don't want to spoil the surprise for myself. Now... I also see here, and this is the um, deal you get on the website. If you subscribe in three, six, or uh, three months, six months, or a year, you get a free um, pack of high chew, which I'm always happy with because high chew is delicious. Actually, I may crack this open because I think there's melon pan, which is melon bread flavour, cookie, orange, and watermelon. Maybe is that cookie? Maybe that's not cookie. That's like. Uh, pomegranate, hang on. Uh, that's passion fruit. Sorry, it took me a while to uh, read that there. So, actually, I'm going to break into this and grab myself. Okay, I'll be right back. Alright, so they're all individually wrapped and stuff, which is cool. Um, I know this isn't really a very interesting thing for you guys, but, you know, and this is uh, what a haiju looks like. They're kind of, they're a bit like chewing gum, you can swallow them, so they're not chewing gum. And that is definitely passion fruit. Wow, really, uh, really impressed there. Alright then, uh, as you can see, we've got our balls of mystery in here. Uh, the thing I like about Gashifon actually is, you can't really tell what you're getting. Well, I mean, you kind of can. Um, but like, you know, from a distance, you can't really tell what's in them, so... You've probably seen Gashifon or stuff like this, you know, in shops before. You just come in clear plastic thing. It's a random chance of getting stuff. And I think most of them in Japan have, like, rarities as well. Um, and, yeah, so I'm not sure of the themes of this exactly. Now, I'm going to cover this in my hand and bring out the piece of paper. I can't see what's there either. Uh, right. Let us see what the heck these are. So, this looks like... Are they eggs? Eggs with things in, I think. Um, so basically, I'm going to open it, have a look at the figure, on camera obviously, and then I'll look up that guide, the, uh, the little pamphlet that came with it, just to explain to us what exactly these are. So that is actually quite nice. The... Um, yeah, the other one I got with Oyatsu box didn't really give context to what they were. Ooh. Okay, so that looks like a watermelon that's been cracked open. And these are fruit inside. So there's a cherry, 
melon, maybe, um, bit of bit of orange, maybe, and blueberries. That's really cool. So I'm presuming maybe there's like the top halves as well. If you collect a few of these, maybe they go together or something. It's a really interesting piece. I'll check exactly what that is. Okay, that these are Marugoto fruit mascots. So they're, well, as I said, really, they're sort of mini fruit bowls. Yummy. Don't eat them, though, because they're keychains. Although, admittedly, if you'd ordered these and actually tried eating them, then, you know, yeah, I mean, you know, the, you, you need a word of advice. But, you know, it's very, it's very nice. It's very weird. And honestly, I do love watermelon, so... This is something actually that would go really well as sort of next to some Nendroids or something if I took that thing off. I'll be honest, don't use keychains. Um, I love what comes in them, but the keychains themselves, I've never hung any because like they could get damaged and stuff. So I'm going to chuck that back in there and we will move on to the next one. Now, I have unfortunately seen the preview image of one of the themes, so... I'll kind of know what one of them are, though I haven't read into them. Uh, right, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, the slightly annoying thing with Gashifon is they've always got a little bit of tape that you kind of peel off. And I understand, but also they're locked eggs. It's not like, um, you know, it's not like they're going to fall out. Anyway, ooh, ah, right. So this is the thing I saw. It was a Mimikyu. Now, for those of you who have seen my other videos, you will know that... I love Mimikyu, it is one of my favourite Pokemon, and I'm actually pleasantly surprised. So looking at these ones here, I did open a Gashifon with a Mimikyu in before, which is just a standard figure doing its like attack, kind of like that, but in a different pose. And I was slightly scared that it would be the same series, because I didn't really want to pull doubles. So these two seem to move, I think. And that one, maybe its head moves? That is a large one. Maybe you put things underneath it or something. Uh, the back is just, you know, uh, kind of warnings and stuff. Ooh, ooh, we got an assembly here. Uh, so we've got a head and a body and a tail. Okay, right. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll just assemble this and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back. Just to uh, point out, so this is the Mo Moving Mimikyu collection. And Mimikyu is from Pokemon, just in case uh, you guys didn't know. So this is apparently from the Wiggle Wiggle collection. Uh, oh well, it's the Moving Mimikyu collection, but he apparently wiggles or something. So the one I've got, I will zoom in for you guys. Um, so mine doesn't wiggle. I've had to put him on a flat surface because he has little wheels underneath. As my camera finally focuses. Uh, yeah, so I'm not sure what those things are. I think they're just to keep him upright. But, as you can see, if you pull back... There's a bit of a motor, so if we put little Mimikyu there and pull him back, he will move away. Now, I am a little bit confused because he doesn't really wiggle. Um, so you can actually move his head to the side, which is adorable and terrifying at the same time. Fair play. But he doesn't, this one doesn't wiggle. Um, but you know, there are six of them, so I think some of them probably wiggle. And this one moves. Actually, I'm going to take a quick look at the little thing that came with it. Aha, so that explains it. Ours is indeed the traction one. That's the kind of like, one you pull back and stuff. Yeah, that's really cool. That's a uh, lovely little thing to add to my gacha collection of... Um, Mimikyu figures, which is reached four now. Uh, right, on to the next ball. All right, let's do the front one. Uh, so, yeah, so far I'm really liking them, actually. It's a nice um, it's a nice little mix so far. There's this sort of weird watermelon thing, and there's the themed item after Pokemon. So it's nice to see a good mix, because I think if it was all anime or game stuff... It might be very hit and miss, um, you know, I mean, you're never going to please everyone all of the time, especially if you've got six catches. So, I'm very looking forward to some, like, kind of weird ones as well. Ooh, I hear a rattle from this one, and something soft. Uh, right, let's take a look quickly at this then. So, um, oh, okay. 
And these look a little bit familiar, actually. Oh, is that, um... Oh, I can't remember his name. He's the egg dude. So, there's presumably five of them to collect? Six? No. Four. Okay, so he's the, um... Oh, it's something Chan. I'll, I'll look up in a second, obviously. So, yeah. There's a bear, there's the egg dude, penguin, and a cat, maybe? Let's see. Which one did we get? So, all oh, right, it's like a little pouch. That's cool. So, before we reveal what we get... Yeah, oh, okay, actually, so... Oh, we have the bear! Ah, oh, that's really cute, actually. It's got this little ears. And, um... Yeah, it's like fabric and stuff. Actually very useful for keeping, um, well, I suppose coins or whatever is what it's meant for. But you could keep a ton of things in it. But yeah, that's actually really nice. Let's check out what this is then. So this is the Sumiko Gurashi Pouch Collection. That, the, <laughs> the English is a bit off. Everyone's favourite corner, cosy friends are here. What? Corner is not an adjective. Someone is not a corner. Um, but yeah, keep your little treasures tucked away in these cute pouches. Um, and actually, the bear was the one advertised, so... Yeah, that's that's really cute. I mean, you know, I wouldn't take it out with me anywhere, but if I needed to keep something kind of, you know, safe around the house or something, that's really useful, actually, because it's just really cute. Right, let's move on to this one. Ooh, this is a bit smaller. Now, I have noticed, um, maybe this is pure coincidence, the smaller ones, like these size, tend to be more the um, themed ones after like anime and stuff, and the bigger ones tend to be like items, um, like the pouch. But then, I could be wrong, that could just be a coincidence. So, let's unflap this. Alright, I'm back. I just undid like eight bits of tape or something. It wasn't eight, I think it was three. Uh, ooh, right, okay. That's in a lot of packaging. What could it be? Let's find out. Oh, well, let's find out what's on offer. And then let's find out. Ooh. Stas, uh, Stasto? These look like dogs? Oh, yeah. So there's a pug in the head of another dog. What? Um. What? What is... what? So are these types of dogs and cats dressed as other things? That's like a pug dressed as a poodle. And that's like a type of cat dressed as another type of cat. And that's a cat dressed as a bear. Man, that's... that is wild. Okay then, let's see... Let's see what we got. Uh, we got a pug with the head. Hang on, I'll, I'll unpack it. Alright, so, yeah, looking at it, it is a pug who's kind of in the costume of another dog, and this is the head of the other dog. Um, so yeah, it's like hollow. It looks like it would go on something, but obviously it is too large to fit over his head. Um, that's a very unique piece, I'm not gonna lie. Um, very detailed and stuff, to be fair. Even down to the sort of you know, the, how the fur looks and everything, and the face. And he looks very happy and stuff. And yeah, it's... Oh, wait, hang on. Hang on a second. Can he undo his head? No. No, is that... Hmm. Wait. Something... Hang on, I'll be back. Okay, no, I think it's actually just a little bit of articulation. I think you can, like, change his head slightly. But yeah, so... This comes with, like, part of an outfit implying the dog had dressed up as another dog. Let's find out what that's about. Okay, so this is Animal Season Narisumashi. Um, it's apparently dre pets dressed as other pets, and Narisumashi literally means identity fraud. Which is, I mean, that has such a weird one. I thought the pineapple thing was out there, but, like, well... <laughs> this is going to be an interesting piece to display, really. That, that'll be hell of a talking point. What's that about? Let me set you down. It's going to take a while. Wow. Okay, then. That... <laughs> that's pretty great. Admittedly, not massive on pugs. Um, I know people love them. I don't much care for them, if I'm honest. Um, 
but you know it's still a very interesting piece right i'm gonna undo the tape again brb all right the egg is about to be cracked let's see let's grab that bit of paper and let's see what it's installed for Ooh, okay it's in color that's good and it's upside down thought so um all right then um things uh tanks boxed okay so oh wait is that a cat what okay cats in cats in tanks cats in tanks right well <laughs> oh okay that that's adorable so the, well they're in boxes that look like tanks to be fair they're not actually you know, driving World War Two era things. Uh, right, well, let's see which one I got. I got a cat in, wait for it, a tank. Right, I'm going to assemble this and I'll be right back. Okay then, so this is our one and it is a lovely white cat in a ship because um, the anchor's on the front and stuff. So it came in a few parts like that one goes on top of there and then the cat just goes in a little hole there. Uh, cat itself, you know, is is fairly basic, very detailed to be fair, but uh, still kind of basic. And yeah, it's just driving around a a a, a ship thing. Uh, I don't know what. Oh, that says nah. I think the that there. So something naki naki. I think that's what it says. Or oh, wacky. Um. Yeah, same run there, and then that's just kanji, so I can't read that. And it's got a little, lovely little cat paw print. Right, let's find out what the hell these things are. This is the cat plus cardboard tank range, which are cats in heavy artillery tank boxes. Adorable and hardcore at the same time. I do not disagree with that. I mean, I kind of maybe would have preferred a tank, um, to be honest. However, you know, I'm, I'm not one to you know, buy sort of like these things and import them from Japan, but this series actually looks really cool. May actually look into getting a few of these gachas, maybe? Uh, let me know in the comments, actually, if you'd like to see more of these, because uh, I would like to track them down, maybe. Just have a nice battalion of cats chilling out in, you know, artillery vehicles. Uh, right, and the last one is the bottom left there. Now, I don't know what it is. I keep seeing, I keep briefly looking at the picture of what it is uh, while looking for the other things, but you know, it's, um, I don't think I actually had a good look. Ooh, right, I'm gonna have to try and work out how these work then. BRB. Right, oh man, that took some effort because you had to like pry both of these open. Anyway, this is really shiny. I don't know what this is, but ooh. Is this Sailor Moon? Okay, it goes the other way then. Um, that looks like Sailor Moon. Oh yeah, it says there, Sailor Moon. Okay. Um, I think already we know we've got that one. I think. Um, or that one? I don't know what these are. Um, I'll have to read into it because I, I know this is controversial. Never watched Sailor Moon, really. Um, mostly because it just never aired. Uh, on channels I could watch. Ooh, okay, so there's bits to put on. Uh, let's assemble this. Okay, so I'm back. Um, yeah, I've put it all together. It's very, very shiny. Uh, as you can tell there, you can see me. Hello. Um, and yeah, so you put the little wings on and there's the crown there. This seems to be like one of the best ones that you can get, actually. Like, looking at all of them. Um, I don't know, it's just got one of the coolest designs, really. It's kind of, you know, hearts and stuff. That, that'd have been cool, actually. And, um, as that little leaflet thing did point out, it does flip open. That's a mirror. I'm not going to peel it off because, you know, if I give it to someone or something, it'll be nicer to know that the mirror is, you know, clean. Also, this removes. So I presume it's meant to have, like, a fake bottom, or, you know, like, you can keep something in there, but... I don't know, I'm confused because it doesn't seem to want to fit, like, stay. It's very, very loose. Um, yeah, overall, that's, that's very nice. Like, I don't think 
I'd display it or anything, but you know, I'd, I'd probably keep it somewhere or maybe give it to a Sailor Moon fan in my life. Which I don't have, but I think I know someone who kind of likes it, so uh, it's maybe coming your way, Tim. So yeah, let's check out what these are exactly. So yeah, these are the Sailor Moon Compact Mirrors. Uh, they are compact mirrors, really. I'm not sure what that says exactly. Misu? Misu? I, I, I don't know. Uh, or mi, Misu? Mima? Yep, not even sure. But yeah, they're, they're very cute. And it does say there, like, hey, share your um, thing on social media. Here's some of the staff's favourite. Those, those Spider-Man kicks look really cool. Mega Man, you know, pretty cool. Sleeping, po sleeping Pokemon um, gacha. I'd be completely game for. Ah, Gudetama, right. So it wasn't Gudetama that was the bear pouch thing we got earlier, but it was him I was thinking of. Uh, Ashes, Pikachu with a hat, and uh, Peter Pan. Not that big on Disney, I'll be honest. Uh, so this is the indeed the first issue, I think it um, says, yeah? There, yeah, first issue, right. And, um, yeah, on the back... Basically just tells you all about what Gacha, um, Gachaphon is. I just, you know, look it up online if you really want an in-depth view. But yeah, so I'm going to um, display them lovely, you know, in a lovely way and I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm back. I've uh, displayed them in a very nice way. And um, yeah, I've got to say, I've been really impressed by how kind of quirky and whimsical the um, gacha things are which you know gachaphon usually is that's kind of the reason i bought this and yeah i've got to say i've, I've had hell of a mix um you know I, i've not disliked anything the pug thing and the sailor moon things are you know they're not things i'm super into like dogs are nice but i'm not really a, much of a dog person and sailor moon i've never watched so it doesn't mean much to me but I can at least appreciate this is really some really high quality gacha stuff. Like, you know, boxes usually have like the big ticket item. Well, this is probably it because like that's a really well made thing, and the fact it's a mirror as well is really cool. Cat tank might be the highlight for me. I think just because I would genuinely consider collecting more of these because uh, I don't know, it's just a really cute concept. The watermelon bowl is going to be fantastic for little photo shoot things, um, you know, with Nendroids and other scale things. Mimikyu, never bad to have another Mimikyu. It's, uh, it'll be added to my ever-growing collection. And the little bear just pouch thing chilling there. Really cool. Really, it can be really handy, you know, to kind of just keep little stuff in. So yeah, that about wraps up my, um, my opening of the first Gacha Gacha crate. If you did enjoy it, you know, um, let me know if you want. I don't know. Uh, I'll leave a, like, a playlist up there for Japan Crate, which is, you know, where this came from. Be a random video at the bottom there. And, yeah, that's about it. So, um, thank you very much for watching. And until next video, goodbye.